you know, we've, come to the, we've come to our, you know, which of your children do you like most question. Uh, and, and that is that uh, they, the way they phrase it is, um, why should we support you or not support your opponent? Uh, and I will let uh, Vince take the first shot at that. Um, why, give us your closing case, either for yourself or against this ugly fellow next year. <laughs> well, I, I like Ed, I, I really do. He's, he's a brilliant guy. And if I wasn't running, I would definitely be supporting him. We come from a little different place, though. I, I'm going to be, the reason you should support me is because I care about you immensely. I have 23 years of caring about people just like you. And when I'm on the Supreme Court, I will carry that, that uh, spirit forward. There is no doubt in my mind or your minds that that's going to be my uh, main perspective on the Supreme Court. I'm honest. I've been extremely honest throughout this campaign. Anybody asks me a question, I, I give them the answer. And although I know this is nonpartisan, I am a nonpartisan Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, I will do the right thing on this court. That's all I can say. Spike Lee said that, and I'm saying that I will do the right thing on this Supreme Court. If I, if I get the honor and the privilege to uh, be on this court. And I do ask for your votes, and I do like Ed Falone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Vince, I like you too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how will you bring Spike Lee into your program? <laughs> First of all, I want to say thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for being interested in this race. Uh, we need people to wake up and understand how important the spring election is. So I hope you will leave here tonight, and tell your friends, tell your neighbors, get on Facebook, uh, however you communicate with your friends and loved ones, and let them know this is an important election and they need to get informed and get involved. Um, I absolutely know that the current state Supreme Court is not truly independent. It is not acting in a way that prevents the special interests from dominating what happens in our state. I absolutely know we need to have our Supreme Court be independent. And I am confident, after a 25 year legal career, that I have demonstrated courage and independence and open-mindedness throughout my career. That's why people urged me to get in this race. I'm very proud of my reputation. And I would bring those same qualities to the court as a justice. I have the experience, 20 years as a law professor, 25 years as a practicing lawyer, a broad range of legal expertise, and a commitment to expanding access to justice and making sure that the justice system is open to everyone, including working families, including immigrants, and not just the special interests who can afford justice. And so that is why I'm running, and that is why I believe I would be a good Supreme Court justice. Thank you very much. <laughs>